Hey all, welcome back to my channel, ServiceNow Training and Placement. In today's video, we are going to start a whole new series of notifications in ServiceNow. In this series, we will discuss about the notifications, how we can create a notification in ServiceNow and send them on different different user criteria. We can send a notification in ServiceNow when a record getting inserted or updated or an event is fired. We can also send a notification using the flow designer or workflow in the ServiceNow. We will also discuss about the email layout, email template and email scripts in ServiceNow. And the last, we will discuss about the important tables and important interview questions that are asked from emails. So before we create a notification in ServiceNow, let's see what is the email properties. You just need to type here email properties. Email properties tells about the outbound and inbound email configurations. Like the email sending is enabled or not, email receiving is enabled or not. So I am clicking it. Yes here. Okay. And also you can see here the what roles are needed to access an email like for receiving or sending an email. So that is the ideal as of now. In your PDI, these properties are already enabled. So at any time, if you are debugging any emails, and if you see that I have done all the configuration right, yet not receiving or sending the emails, go and check email properties. Coming back. Notifications. So there is a module called system notification. Under this, under this module, you will see the three sections, email, post and provider. Under this email module, there were multiple sections are created and one of, one of them is notifications. In this notifications, you will see that plenty of notifications are already created like 305 you can see in my PDI. To create a new notification, you just need to click on new. And the notification form will be open. Understanding this form is very important like what all field you need to configure. Okay. So the first field is name that is a simple. Just give a name to your notification. I am giving demo notification. Let's select a table. Incident as of now. Category. Like there were multiple categories which are already created in the system. So if you want like my notification will fall in this category, you just need to select that category or you can create a new category as well. Just click on here and click on new active if you want to make your notification active or not allow digest using this field you can set the digest interval suppose an email is getting triggered multiple time in a day and if you wanted to reduce frequency or if you wanted to set the frequency of that email you can do it using this allow digest you will see here this there is an section called digest interval. Now, coming on to the most important section of an email, when to send, who will receive, and what it will contain. So, to sending a notification, a trigger point is very much needed. Like at what point in time you just need to select or send that notification. So this is uh, this could be an interview question as well so there were three main type first when record inserted or updated like if you are updating any record in any table and that time you just wanted to send a notification you can send thereafter event is fired event is fired means if you're writing some code in your script and if you want that once this uh, once the script uh, finished you just need to trigger a 
notification, then use this event is fired. And thereafter, the third one is the triggered. Triggered, you can use in the flow designer. So as of now, we will be uh, sending a notification when a record inserted or updated. I have selected this record inserted or updated. And record is inserted or updated. I'm uh, clicking on both. Here you can select the conditions like uh, I just wanted to trigger a notification when state changes to resolve. So we can configure here the state changes to resolve. So this is these are the conditions changes to. Okay. The second section is who is going to receive this notification. So you can directly select the users from this user table. Like all those users you will select here will receive the notification. You can select here the group from this sys user group table, like who all groups this uh, notification wanted to receive. There are often users group and field. Suppose on incident table there is a field called the caller and you wanted to trigger the notification to that caller, you can dynamically uh, select the caller here. Okay. You will see here the field that can receive the notification are in green. They are mainly from this user or the uh, group table. Okay. Subscribable means any user want, wanted to subscribe your notification. Then you just uh, want that this notification can be subscribed. Just click on this subscribable button. In the last is the notification body like what this notification will contain. So if you click the uh, advanced view, okay. these many field will get open. So this is the section like message HTML section. You can write your body like what all, what all data or what all information you need to send in your body. That is the most important section. Okay. Include attachment. If you wanted to send a notification for any table, that table has some attachment, and you wanted to attach those notification to this email, just click on this include attachment. Watermark. Every email in service now contains some alphanumeric keywords at the end. So that is the watermark. If you wanted to omit that watermark, just check this box. Push notifications only. So push notifications means if this is uh, basically used in any mobile app. If you wanted to send this notification not as an email but as in the notifications, then check this checkbox. You can select here the importance of the notification. From generally in service now, if you have not selected this from section, your notification will go as an instance address at the date servicenow.com. Okay. You can select the reply to as well. If you have not selected, the reply to will be automatically that from. Okay, post messages. Again, this is again used for the mobile apps. Email templates. You just need to design your notification every time. Okay, every organization has its logo, its uh, header on footer. So those header footer logo, you can set an email once and you can email template template once and you can use them in multiple times. Subject, you already know what is the subject for a notification. So now we will create a simple notification first. Our use cases, when a change request is created, send an email to requester, including short description and type of change. Let's open the change request table. And create the notification. 
we need to right click here and go on configure notification. So it will automatically pick the table in which we are going to create the notification. Click on new. Give some name, change, request tab, something like that. Okay. So when this notification will set, we will set whenever any record is inserted in the system. We will let select updated as well. Okay. Who is going to create, who is going to receive this notification? The requested for. Okay. Like requested by. Okay. Let's say. Hey. Uh, we have created change request for you. Okay. From here, we can pick the dynamic value. Like uh, if we pick the number, uh, let's check number is available on the phone. This number is here. Okay, so we can pick number. What is number? Right, dear requested for. Pick from here. We have created copy from here. Change request. And we will give the short description of the change request. And we need to include the time. Will automatically write the back uh, label as well, I guess. So, short description and type. Give some regards, like some stuff. Okay, so we have given the when to send this notification, who will receive this notification, and what will be the body of the notification? So we can test it in this notification now. Just click on save. Okay. So this is the fresh form of any change request. Let's give some short description. Testing my notification. Something like that. And the type is already selected as normal. So just save this request. So you will see this, you will see that a new change request has been created in this system. And that is our condition whenever a record is getting inserted or updated. So here, this record is inserted in this change request table. How we can check my notification is triggered or not, triggered or not. For this, we need to check the logs of the notification. So we have in separate modules like system logs for emails. Go on this. Whenever you open this, uh, the created on today filter is already applied. One notification has been triggered. Okay. To the requested form. You can see here the notification is change request demo. And if we go on preview. It says, dear system administrator, who is the system administrator? System administrator is the requested for or requested by. We have created the change request with a number. Short description is testing my notification and time is normal. Here, these are the two, uh, these are the two related links like uh, unsubscribe if you wanted to unsubscribe this notification like I 
this user will not be getting will not be receiving such notification you can unsubscribe from here and hit, this is the watermark which we have discussed earlier so from here we are ending this session this is the simple notification you can create in your system in next video we will see some interesting use cases like how to trigger a notification using the event first and they will and thereafter we will create some interesting use cases as well so go and check out my next video thank you